is seems to be such a, a crazy behavior the first analysis are more looking around you know psych psychiatric uh, illness some unbalanced uh, and probably maybe he had already problems before that were aggravated or we don't know we have to check his profile what happened maybe in sweden were there any violence facts or not but apparently the first testimony tell that he was looking for cradles who, who can in any culture you know target so small children so young they cannot uh, defend themselves hearing throughout the day on times radio a british girl is among four toddlers and two adults injured during a knife attack at a lakeside park in the french alps witnesses describe scenes of panic as the attacker targeted toddlers at a play area in annecy and reported that at least one child was stabbed in a pushchair the facts as we understand them this evening uh, the man they suspect the suspect is syrian born and was granted asylum in sweden he's reported to be married to a swedish woman and has a three year old child. Uh, he's believed to have arrived in France last year and was turned down for a claim of political asylum because he already had that status in Sweden. Well, the suspect is now with police and is being investigated for attempted murder. There's no evidence at this point of a motive. I'm joined by Fabienne Keller, who's a former mayor of Strasbourg and an MEP for Emmanuel Macron's party. Good evening to you, Fabienne. Thanks for joining us. Good evening. I wonder, Fabian, if there's any more information that you can give us that's maybe being reported at a local level on the suspect. What else do we know about him that might be important no, this evening? You, you described this dramatic uh, situation with the four very little children that were attacked with a knife and an adult. Uh, one or two children seem to be in a critical situation in terms of health. Uh, Mrs. Elizabeth Bourne, our Prime Minister, and our Minister of Interior, Gérald Darmanin, went uh, in Annecy, are there, to uh, uh, try to understand what happened, because it's such a shock, because Annecy is just a very calm place, with a nice lake, with, you know, a nice park where toddlers and their parents were just having a a calm rest so it's it's incredible to, to understand and the profile of the who seemed to be the criminal is you know he was an asylum he was accepted as a refugee and seemed to be living in sweden for long apparently for 10 years mm. so it's very difficult to understand what happened he's recently divorced but yeah. So we have no explanation and it's a total drama when, you know, so small children and it clearly targeted them apparently. It went to come close to them and to give them night so, yeah. uh, with a knife. So, uh, it's terrible. Uh, it, it is awful and, uh, you know, a, a lot of people are trying to reason with uh, any kind of motive. Uh, the reason why someone would deliberately target children in this area. Uh, there is a comment from um, his wife in Sweden who we understand that he's separated from. He didn't manage to obtain Swedish nationality, so he has asylum status there. Didn't manage to obtain Swedish nationality, so he decided to leave the country and they separated because um, she did not want to leave Sweden. So just a bit more information coming through there. Uh, Fabian, this will inevitably raise questions about immigration again. Um, the man is Syrian, and although he appears to have been living in Sweden for quite some time, it, he was trying to achieve asylum status in France. What questions are already being asked in France, Fabienne, um, uh, connected to immigration on this point? We, I am not sure that we are targeting the, the question about his statue, being a refugee, be, being Syrian. It seems to be such a, a crazy behavior. The first analysis are more looking around, you know, psych psychiatric uh, illness, some unbalanced, uh, and probably maybe he had already problems before that were aggravated, or we don't know. We have to check his profile, what happened maybe in Sweden, were there any violence facts or not. But apparently the first testimony tell that he was looking for cradles. Who, who can, 
in any culture, you know, target so small children, so young they cannot uh, defend themselves. So it's, I don't see any migration issue. I see more yeah. a psychiatric so he was, issue. He was deliberately looking for toddlers, for, for very young yeah. children. Yeah. yeah, and wants him to be in his cradle. So, in his push chair, yes. Oh, yes. push chair, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, look. So it's impossible to, to to understand. So I think we shouldn't so quickly project uh, the analysis on the fact he's a refugee. The question is the person and his health, uh, uh, his mental health mm. uh, situation. I do take that point, but I just wonder, uh, knowing how France is very split on immigration, like in the UK, a very similar situation here, where... Um, immigration and people traveling to the UK via illegal means. Um, it is a really divisive topic in the UK. And I know you, know you have similar issues in France as well. And it won't be long before whether it's, you know, some of the politicians on the far right, Marine Le Pen, for instance, uh, it won't be long before someone raises this question. And the issue of a tough new immigration bill that was due in March, but we've still seen no sign of, is that a misstep? Do you think people will be raising questions about that tough immigration bit and saying that this attack may not be directly related, but it's a really sensitive topic because there have so, been instances in France, as we know recently, um, uh, attacks conducted by Islamic extremists, some of which are connected to immigration? Yeah, we have this issue, but I'm not sure we can, you know, apply it to this very dramatic situation that doesn't look that like uh, he didn't ask for, you know, he didn't say any word uh, of terrorism or he seems to be Christian, apparently. Uh, so he would be Christian Syrian. Yes, he is Christian. Czech, uh, yeah. So um, I, so he doesn't seem to be terrorist. To, does he have other references of violence in his uh, past? We have to discuss with the Swedish uh, law enforcement forces. Uh, but on the other question, that's the risk of my illegal migration, we are on the way on the European Union side to have a package where the screening at the entry is essential. That means checking each person entering in a five days uh, procedure that can be extended to 10 days, where we check uh, with the files we have already of dangerous criminals and to follow, to know who is entering and then to be able to follow with uh, some uh, information, digital information about them that help them recognize when they move later in the member states and better control their way within Europe. That's okay. about the migration package, but we have also issues about accelerating the, the procedure recognizing asylum procedure the, the different between the different member states and i hope that the british will have a discussion with eu so that our policies are coherent yes aligned um all right well look, yes. thank you so much for speaking to us i i appreciate you being able to give us the view directly from france fabienne keller uh, who's an mep for emmanuel macron's party former mayor of strasbourg as well fabienne good to speak to you thank you for joining us on thank Times you. radio thank, thank you. you so much